The latest version of Meta's Interaction SDK allows us to use both our hands and controllers simultaneously. Now this is big because we can use hands for immersive experience like using gestures to cast spells and at the same time use controllers as weapons for accuracy and for haptic. In today's video, you'll see how to set up your Unity project to simultaneously use your hands and controllers. So let's get started. Let's begin by creating a new project. Here make sure to use the editor version 2021.3.26 F1 LTSR above but not the 2022 versions. For some reason it does not work with that. And then give your project a name and click on create project. Once you have the project open, switch the platform to Android by going inside file, build settings, click on Android and switch platform. Next, to install the interaction SDK, click on the asset store link provided in the description below which will open this page for you. Once you're here, you can click on open in Unity and open Unity editor. Then click on install. While installing, you'll get a prompt asking you to restart the editor, so click on that. Once your editor reopens, click on this drop down and select in project. Here you will see the Meta XR Interaction SDK has been installed with all the other packages that you might need later on. But this is not the latest version and we are going to fix that. Before that, we need to install another package which is Meta Interaction Sample Package for which you can find the link in the description below. Click on Open in Unity and Open in Unity Editor and install this package as well. Now during installation, it's going to ask you to restart the editor once again. Go ahead and click on that. Once your editor reopens, click on the drop down once again and select in project. Here you'll see that the interaction samples has been installed and it has updated the interaction SDK as well to version 62 which is the latest version. Now inside the samples package, click on the samples tab and import the example scenes, import the feature scene and import the tools as well. Then close this window and now we can set up our project with all the recommended settings by going inside oculus, tools, project setup tool and click on fix all and then apply all the recommended items as well. Then switch to the PC tab and fix all here as well. All right, so with that we have the project set up. Next, let's set up the scene. First, select the main camera and delete it. Now to add a camera rig to your scene, click on Oculus, Tools, Building Blocks. From this window, select the camera rig block and click on this button to add it to your scene. And this adds a camera rig which is a game object pre-configured for VR. It comes along with the OVR manager and a tracking space to track your headset and your hands. Now if you connect your headset to your laptop or PC using link and close this window and play your scene, you will be able to see your default environment which will change in a bit. However, if you try to use your hands or if you grab a controller, it's not seen and that's because we haven't added hand and controller tracking yet. So in your project window, search for large room and make sure the search is selected for all. Select the large room prefab and add it to your scene. Next, search for skybox gradient. Select the material and add it to your scene as well. Now to enable hand tracking, select oculus tool building blocks. Search for the hand tracking block and click on its button. Now this will add hand tracking capabilities for both left and right hand. Now you can dock the building blocks window over here and play the scene. Here you will be able to see that your hands are tracked but the material does not look that good. So to change it, you can exit the play mode and in your building blocks search for virtual hands and add it to your scene. And this time when you press play, you can see that your hands look much better. However, if you grab a controller, the hands disappear. Now to enable controller tracking, click on building blocks and search for controller tracking and click on its button. This will enable the tracking capabilities for the left controller and the right controller. And now if you play the scene, you'll see that your controllers are tracked. And if you keep your controllers, it's going to switch to your hand tracking, which is super cool. Now to use the hands and controllers simultaneously, in your project window, search for OVR controller driven hands. Select the prefab and place it inside building blocks interaction. Under the tracking space, select hand tracking left and hand tracking right. We need to change the show state from controller not in hands to always. Now if you look under the OVR controller driven hands, you'll see that we have the left controller synthetic and right controller synthetic. Now since we have the models in here, we can open the left controller anchor, select controller tracking left and disable it. Open right controller anchor and disable this as well. Then under SBB hand tracking, select OVR hand data source for left hand. Select OVR hand data source for right hand and add a component called OVR controller hand active state. 
Along with this, we need to add another component called as active state tracker. Then select the OVR hand on the left hand. Make sure that the hand type is left. Select the component, drag and drop it inside active state. And inside optional, we need to add a mono behavior, which is from OVR hand data source. So select the component, drag and drop it inside here. Do the same for right hand as well. Make sure that the hand type is set to right hand. Drag and drop this component in here. Select OVR hand data source and drag and drop it inside the mono behavior. And for the last step, select the camera rig and inside the OVR manager, check the box for simultaneous hands and controller tracking and scroll down and check the box for launch simultaneous hands and controller tracking on startup. And that's about it. Now you can save the scene, press play and test it out. And here we go. You can see that the controllers and my hands are getting tracked simultaneously. So if I keep one of my controller down, the other controller is getting tracked, my other hand is getting tracked and they both work together, which is amazing. Now you should definitely check out their demo scene, which you can find under samples, OVR samples, the version, example scenes, and you can open the concurrent hands controller examples. Now this scene has been set up with interactions where you can pick up the racket with your controller and you can use the hands to toss the ball to get a fully immersive gaming experience. Now, if you want us to make a video on how to add interactions, just like in their demo scene, then do let us know in the comments below. Also, remember that this is the first version of multimodal inputs and there are some limitations and compatibility requirements. Feel free to check them out. I've linked the documentation in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.